quiet on the set. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna do something fun. Um, I'm gonna be trying out the new L'Oreal Infallible Fresh, 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I don't know if that's actually in the name, but it's L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And it does say that it is up to 24 hours of fresh wear. So um, this foundation came out maybe like a month or two ago. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I've only seen one review about it from Tati from Glam Life Guru and she loved it. Like she was saying it was just a good foundation in general, like even compared to her like higher end foundations, it was a little, it was better. Like she was just saying, it wasn't just a good drugstore foundation, it was a good foundation overall. So um, that really intrigued me. I really wanted to try it. Um, and yeah, so we will see how it does on my skin, which I have pretty dry skin. Um, so, cause this does say it's a natural matte finish. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it handles with the dry skin. Plus I live in Colorado and it's super dry here. So we'll see how the matte finish actually, you know, holds up. Um, so yeah, this is a drugstore foundation. Obviously I bought mine at Ulta. It comes in 30 different shades. I got the shade 425, um, which is linen. And I'm gonna use this because I'm actually self-tanned. I self-tanned a couple days ago. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna put it on and tell you my initial thoughts and then I'll kind of check in throughout the day and let you guys know how it's holding up. So, uh, all right, let's get a little closer. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a primer first. This is the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. I always put on a hydrating primer before I wear any foundation. So I just thought I'm gonna keep including this in the step because if I was wearing this normally, I would put on a hydrating Primer. So I'm gonna start with that. I've already moisturized and everything um, too, but I didn't feel like you guys needed to see that. Okay. Hydrating primer is all blended. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna put the foundation on this half of my face and we can see it like compared to this side that doesn't have any makeup on. So we will see like what the coverage is like. Cause it says it's a um, buildable coverage. I think that's what it says. Yeah, breathable, buildable coverage. So I'm kind of expecting this not to be super full coverage um, just because it would need to be buildable if it was full coverage. So, okay, I'm gonna do like a pump. Maybe, it's pretty liquidy. Oh, I should have pulled my hair back, oh well. Okay. It's pretty heavily fragranced, I'm not gonna lie. It smells good though, um, but it definitely has a fragrance to it. Blending out pretty well. I think this is a pretty good color for um, my like self tanned color. I might do like a tad more. I feel like one pump wasn't quite enough. Looks pretty good though. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit more. I'm just gonna do like like a half pump. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't really see anything that's like wrong with it initially. Like nothing is like annoying me about it or like seems weird. It's really easy to blend out. It's not like clinging to any dry patches or anything. It looks pretty good. Okay, so this is it on this side of the face. 
and this side has nothing on it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's definitely not a super full coverage foundation, which I personally like. I think it just looks pretty like natural and breathable and like, I mean, you can still like up close, you can see that I have foundation on and everything, um, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a ton of makeup. It doesn't feel like a mask or look like a mask or anything. Um, so yeah, I, I bet you, I definitely think you could build this up, but for me, this is all I would do. I don't think uh, I would need any more coverage than this. Cause like I said, I kind of like a light coverage foundation. So, so yeah, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think it still looks like, I do like the finish. It's not like super mattifying by, any means it's pretty natural looking it just looks like a little like on the high points of my face it looks a little glowy um but not like overly glowy i would not call this dewy by any means um but it just looks kind of natural so so yeah so far so good the only thing that i would note is that it definitely has a fragrance so um if you guys don't like foundations with a fragrance or maybe you have sensitive skin and you've had like problems using foundations with fragrance, you might not like this. Um, but I don't smell it like on my face right now. I only smelled it like on the Beauty Blender when I like first started applying it. So, so yeah, okay. I'm gonna go in and do the other half of my face. is what it looks like all over my face. I think it looks pretty good. I really like the finish and everything. The only thing is I think I can kind of see it like settling into um, like my smile lines right here already and a little bit on um, like the lines on my forehead. So I don't know. I, I kind of have a problem with that with all foundations. So I don't really want to fault this foundation specifically. Um, but yeah, you can like already see it creasing. Like right here. You can already see like where it's creased in my smile lines and the lines um, on my forehead. So I'll be interested to see how that kind of plays out. But overall, like first impression, I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. Um, it's got a really nice finish. It looks pretty natural and yeah, so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and tell you guys how it kind of reacted after putting on the rest of my makeup. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I just put on the rest of my makeup and yeah, I still think the foundation looks pretty freaking good. The only thing is I really do see it like creasing in my smile lines and my forehead, but um, other than that, I think it looks really pretty. Um, yeah, I think I really like the finish. So far, I really, really like the foundation. Cause like I said, I had this problem with like every single foundation. So I don't want to say that it's just this foundation cause it's not. <laughs> um, so yeah, so far so good. I'll check back in in a couple hours and let you guys know how it's holding up. Hey guys, okay, so time for our first check-in. It is like five hours later and this is what the foundation's looking like. So I think it looks really good. Like I'm super happy with it. Um, if I was out somewhere and I was like at an event and it was five hours later and I went into the bathroom and this is what my makeup looked like, I would be very happy. So I think that's a good sign. <laughs> Um, so the only, only thing I'm not like loving is I really feel like it's settling into my fine lines, like pretty bad. Like even underneath my eye, I don't know if you can see this, but like right here under my eye, it is settling into like every little fine line or crease that's there. So that's like, that's my one complaint. Like it's here on my smile lines, here in my um, forehead. So I just feel like it's settling into any sort of fine lines 
pretty, pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know. I still really like the way it looks on the rest of my face. Um, it's definitely not clinging to any like dry patches or anything like that. So if you have dry skin, I totally think this foundation is amazing for dry skin. Like it looks pretty good. Like I usually have foundation like stuck to the dry spots on my nose if it's gonna happen and I don't really see anything happening with that. So I think it's, I, I think overall it's really beautiful. Like it's a really nice finish and it's like really glowy and it just looks really nice. Um, and I'm also gonna insert a photo in here somewhere, you'll see it. Um, I just thought it looked really, really good when we were like out in the world in like natural lighting. I took a picture and it just looked so nice. It, I just was so shocked when I looked at it, I was like, holy crap. This foundation looks amazing. So I just wanted to mention that, that it does photograph really well. I didn't do like flash photography, but it does just look really nice, like out in natural lighting. Um, so I just wanted to mention that, but yeah, so far so good. Like I said, I'm super happy with it. I haven't touched it up at all. And like, you can clearly still see my blush and bronzer and everything. Like everything's holding really well, really well. So like I said, I think it's doing a good job. So I'll check back in in a couple hours. Oh, man, I'm really tired. <laughs> okay, hey guys. So it is time for the final check-in. It is really late. It's like 10.30 at night and I wanna take my makeup off and go to sleep. So thought I'd do the final check-in. Um, yeah, so I think the foundation looks pretty good. You can definitely see it's starting to wear off um, a lot more compared to my last check-in. I feel like around my nose, it started to come off a little bit. And like, honestly, the, it looks the worst right under my eyes here. So it just looks like really, really creasy. I don't know why it's doing it so much underneath my eyes. Like I've never had a foundation do this. Um, but maybe it's just the combination with my concealer or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, think the foundation overall is really nice. Um, I don't think that you would wanna wear this for 24 hours. Like I know it says that on the bottle, but I've been wearing it for like 10 hours and I, I don't really think it looks like that great right now. Like it looks okay, but it's definitely time to like take this off my face. <laughs> So I, I definitely don't think it's like a 24 hour kind of foundation, but who really wears their foundation for 24 hours? Nobody, but um, yeah. So overall, I think it's a really awesome foundation. I think it was great for my dry skin. I think it had like an amazing finish. Um, it looked really natural and pretty in pictures. It was a really nice coverage. It did last for a really long time. So like if you needed to wear this all day at work or like for a really long event or something, I think it would be really great. Like I'm probably going to bring this foundation. Um, I'm going to my brother's rehearsal dinner for his wedding next week. And I will probably wear this foundation because I think it looked really good for a long period of time. Um, so yeah, I think I really like this foundation. So I'm gonna keep trying it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.